th- this is fascinating what they're arguing here. And I have to admit, I agree with Shannon Sharp. Y'all need to understand NFL playing chess. Y'all playing mm-hmm. checkers. Y'all talking yeah, about stop just, playing Taylor yeah. Swift. They say that we not going to stop playing Taylor Swift because she's bringing a different I, demographic and new set of eyeballs. Different set of eyes. Yeah, I, I say I say that we uh, we did the show a while ago. I think when she first went went, went to uh, one of the other games, I, I was trying to explain even then. You know, people, you have to think. You always remember the NFL's bottom line is always, is always, is always money. It will always be about a dollar, no matter what. Ocho, same Ocho, yes. I love Beyonce. Beyonce ain't moving the needle like this chick. Ocho, no, what? you no, tripping. you tripping, Ocho. This girl, this ask the chat. She's the closest Who, thing. The chat. She's the closest Who? thing to moving the needle like Michael Jackson that we've seen. This is it. Whoa, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Reel it back in a little bit, baby. Reel it back in a little bit. Beyonce moves the needle just like Taylor, if not no, more. No, she doesn't. Ask the chat, please. Ask the chat. Ask, Ask the, the chat. chat, please. We put it to the chat. So make, do, do a poll. <coughs> do a poll. Because Beyonce has those same set of eyes, young, old, middle age, and old, in, including the eye. But I'm just saying, not if like the, Taylor. If, hypothetically, hypothetically not speaking, like Taylor. Beyonce would move the needle the same not way like Taylor's Taylor. doing. It would be Beyonce being shown all the time. Not yes. like Taylor. Oh, come on. Yes. Not like Taylor, man. Taylor Swift is, I oh. mean, she's a, she a different animal. I hate when Shannon Sharp does this to me. But because, again, y'all know how I feel about Shannon Sharp. But I'm t- I like Nightcap, man. I like their show. They, they get on some interesting topics, say interesting things. I, th- this is fascinating what they're arguing here and I have to admit I agree with Shannon Sharp that as it relates to Taylor Swift moving the needle more than Beyonce I don't think she's remotely in the same stratosphere as Michael Jackson but let's just start with the Taylor Swift Beyonce argument your thoughts well, I will say that when Michael Jackson died, he did look like a skinny white woman. So that is maybe what they have in common. Uh, when it comes to Beyonce, Hold however, for a second. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Michael Jackson is my funny bone issue. I, I'm just, I, I can't take the Michael Jackson slander. Shamika, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm just... My whole childhood is is part of it. As it relates to entertainment or whatever, the little Jackson 5 cartoon, their music. I'm from Indiana. Yeah. M- must you destroy my image of Michael Jackson? I, I just, I refuse to uh, tolerate anybody accusing him of child molestation. I, I don't believe those allegations. And now you just called him a little white woman. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> anyway, I love you Michael put me in a too, tough spot but, there. you know, yeah. we watched him fade right in front of our eyes. But, you know, when it comes to being an entertainer, he was the greatest. So I just don't see right. how he can compare the two when it comes to entertainment. Like, they are not the same. Michael was in a class by himself. The only person that I would even That's ever bad. think to put in that same class would be Prince. And Prince, you know, he played so many instruments. He was a writer, producer. He put on an actual show all around, dancer, singer. Like, Prince was up there, in my opinion, with, with Michael you Jackson. You think Prince can dance to. on the same level as Michael Jackson? Not I even mean, close. as far as being interesting to look at as Michael Jackson. Just like I think, honestly, Jason, this, this may be where we disagree. Chris Brown. He, if it wasn't for his incident with Rihanna, Chris Brown would have been the next Michael Jackson. <laughs> Come on, Jason, you got to give it to him. He is so talented when it comes. He's a good dancer and he can sing. And are you he trying can, to put uh, Chris Brown? A crowd. <laughs> are, are you trying to put Chris Brown above Usher Raymond? Is that because that's what yes. you're doing? Are yes. You? Yes. Absolutely. How can if you it, put if, him? No, <laughs> you know how 
Miami hits. They, uh, Chris Brown, ain't, well, for he got those issues, but he would never be Super Bowl halftime. Never. He could do it. He, he didn't he cross over it. like that. He could do it, Jason, and entertain the crowd. I'm telling you, if it wasn't for his little, you know, setback with Rihanna, I think he would be a lot bigger than what he is. I think that because people are so one-sided and they think it's okay for a woman to hit a man and spit in his face and, you know, he really got the short end of the stick. Because she went on to be great. What Chris Brown song is on the level of, yeah, love in the club, nice and slow, confessions, <laughs> burn. I'm Stop telling you, Jason, <laughs> if it wasn't for the Rihanna incident, Chris Brown would be tip top up there. I'm telling you, that held him back. Can I get People you back on track? I got to get you back on track. <laughs> I got to get you back on track. We talking about Taylor Swift and Beyonce. Can we get Taylor uh, Swift this, and Beyonce? And Beyonce, go 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 back. To that. <laughs> what I will say, um, I don't know if we want Taylor moving the needle. Like maybe she has a, a bit more white women watching the game now, young, a younger demographic. But the way we are so wishy-washy, like, we'll switch. You know, we're into thick eyebrows one moment. Two months later, we want our eyebrows thin. I don't think they're bringing in a, a fan base that's going to actually stick with the NFL as so many men have for decades. So I think it's a, a bad idea to just be putting all of this on Taylor Swift as if she's actually doing something great for the NFL. I don't think that she is. And what I appreciate about Beyonce is to me, Beyonce crosses all uh, demographics. She doesn't just, you can't just say Beyonce has young black women. She has them young, old, white, gay. Um, so I think that she has better crossover than, than Taylor Swift. Until we were on the call the other day, I could not name a Taylor Swift song. I just couldn't. I mean, I, I didn't know one. But I do think that, you know, she's a big artist and that she has a great fan base and they love her. But I don't think she has the crossover appeal that Beyonce has. So you think Beyonce moves the needle and the, the needle is colorblind. And so it's just how many people can you move? Beyonce moves the needle more than Taylor Swift. I think Beyonce, no, because we're us oh. that like Beyonce, we're not going out buying her boyfriend's jersey or Jay Z's album just because it's Beyonce. No, we we're not going to do that. So I do think Taylor is bringing in a fan base and a group of women to say, hey, this is my boyfriend, go buy his jersey, or hey, this is his team, go buy their paraphernalia. I definitely feel that way because there are a lot of us, I don't even care to see Beyonce in a concert, although I do like some of her music. I'm just not going to put my money there. So I do think that Taylor has the ability to bring in the money um, for sure. But do I think it's going to stick? I don't. All right. Uh, <clears throat> I do want to return just for a little clarity so I can give you a chance to walk back your Usher, Chris Brown comments. I've rattled <laughs> off a half dozen songs that Chris Brown doesn't have anything on that level. I mean, so could could you respond to that? I, I love in the club, confessions, yeah, burn, nice and slow. These are classics. These are, are, are just classics. Give me the the what's the Chris Brown classic that 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 you know has to be played at any family reunion? Uh please could I could I hear that please? <laughs> Listen, I like Usher, Jason. I think that he's great, but I Are you think you're you going full Stephen A. Smith on me, and you're not going to answer <laughs> my question. You're just going to attack Usher or somebody else. Could you give me the songs 
that are on no, that level. I mean, I think all of Chris Brown's songs are good. I don't think they're on Usher's level because of the incident with Rihanna. I said if it wasn't for that, he would be, you know, I like him better than Usher now, but I think he would be oh, oh, oh. bigger and greater than he, he actually is. Tamika, I would prefer Tamika, to see Tamika, him, okay. is what I'm saying. Tamika. I'm telling I, I you, Jason. You're <laughs> but, but hold on, you're, you're blaming an incident. L let me tell yes. you about an artist that has a, several incidents, but we still have to give it up for the music that he made. R. Kelly. Whatever Chris Brown's problems are, <laughs> they don't come close to matching R. Kelly's song. And damn it, if any of that R. Kelly pops up on the radio or on my, I don't cut it off. These are classics. And so you can't blame an incident for destroying the music. If incidents and allegations destroyed the music, Michael Jackson's whole catalog. I mean, we just wouldn't listen. We wouldn't care about any of it. You can't blame an incident for, you don't for, like for no air? Chris Brown's lack of. You don't like no air, I, I'm Jason? not saying I don't like it. I'm not saying wall I don't like wall? it. I'm saying. Kiss, kiss. Come on, Jason. Listen, if it wasn't for the Rihanna incident, Chris Brown would be in a whole, uh, he would just be by himself now that Michael Jackson is gone, if it wasn't for Rihanna. I'm telling you. I, we just had, I, I'm, I'm only quoting here, so don't get in trouble, uh, but someone on the team just said, not this honky, as it relates to uh, Chris Brown. I think that's, am I, am I quoting <laughs> that uh, correctly? But I'm just <laughs> White folks he, ain't buying he, your argument, Shamika. I'm telling you. Well, we need we need the black TJ people. TJ Moe's trying to give you a little support. TJ. Okay, <laughs> TJ. Well, that's good because I don't even think TJ listens to much secular music. So that means a lot. <laughs> he, TJ says all white people know run it and kiss kiss. So he's trying to give you a little bit of support. but uh, And that's when Dave... Another person on the team, <laughs> not this honky. So, <laughs> did you see his tribute to Michael Jackson? The thrill tribute was excellent. that he did. It, any tribute to Michael Jackson is always excellent. We had a Michael Jackson but impersonator in my high school. Off. He could not have pulled that off. <laughs> he could not. You know what? Have. But, but okay, let me let me give you Usher's side of the argument. If Usher were here right now, he would say. <laughs> I don't need to do a Michael Jackson impersonation because I got my own classics. I can just do Usher. This man yeah. has to do his, this man's greatest performance, Chris Brown's, is what everybody remembers him for, is his impersonation of Michael Jackson. That says something about Chris Brown. Usher, in a couple of weeks, is going to roll out his long list of classics for the Super Bowl halftime show with or without an incident no way Chris Brown would ever do uh, the Super Bowl because don't nobody know his music like that. They could have, though. And I'm saying we know Usher because we were a lot more forgiving of him giving women herpes than we were of Chris Brown standing up for himself. <laughs> well, And that's the, all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever he may or may not have given women, that's all speculation. That's all tied up in court documents and uh, civil suits. Who knows what to believe there? Uh, damn it. Anyway, uh, Shamika, this has gone much longer than I anticipated. And so uh, I want you all in the comments. Uh, where do you stand? Taylor versus Beyonce, Chris Brown versus Usher. Uh, who's, who's arguing you about the incident ruined, uh, uh, Chris Brown's career. Look, uh, OJ Simpson is more popular than Chris Brown and his incident is a lot worse than Chris Brown's incident. OJ's doing a show with Cameron and Mace right now. Don't tell me about what an incident will do to destroy your career. OJ's on the comeback trail and he's got bodies on him.
Speaking of OJ, I reached out to him. So OJ, <laughs> if you see this, respond to my DM, please. Thank you so much. Oh boy, that, that, <laughs> TMI right there. You know what? I, I'm gonna end the show. I, I don't think I can recover from this segment. Like what you saw? Hit that like button, subscribe, and check out the full episode by clicking the link below.